Hey everyone, Rick here, and folks, welcome back to another D&D Dungeons & Dragons Icons of the Realms Boneyard Brick Unboxing number two. Get my fingers in the camera this time. All right, here we go. Boom, folks. We are on a quest, as most may be, to populate these caverns. Oh, that's right. The Caverns of Undeath. And we're going to do it completely with Boneyard figures. We've already opened one brick. Go check that video out if you haven't already seen it, because here we go with brick number two. Let's dive in. I'm trying to get these done in a timely, somewhat timely manner. I want them to be 20 minutes or less. I don't want to keep chit-chatting the whole time, but you know me, constantly going off on tangents. All right, folks, here we go. Are you ready? This is it. Booster pack number one. Oh, gosh, and I forgot to grab a knife again. Of brick number two. I'm not going to spoil what we got in brick number one. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? Go check that out. We got something super cool in that one, but we also got something super cool in this one. Look at this. This is insane. So as we're going to do, I actually have a light this time. I don't know if that helps or makes things worse, <laughs> in all honesty. But for better or worse, here we go. I don't know if I like that light. Well, I don't know. Part of me likes it. Okay, anyway. So, what we have here is an Elder Oblex. Folks, look at this thing. Oh my gosh. It just looks like, like, coagulated, curdled blood. Like a big blood thing. And then it's like controlling this poor human being. Look at that. That's so creepy. But I love the way this guy looks. I almost want to take him off the base and, like, make him his own figure, to be honest. Now, again, folks, you're going to have to bear with me. I, I do not know a whole lot about Dungeons & Dragons. So as we unbox these figures, I my knowledge is going to be super lacking. Uh, but, you know, I just am so excited. This is a ghost. We know that because, yes, we did unbox one of these in the first one. This is only like our third duplicate so far. Everything else has been unique. Oh, and as I say that, here's another duplicate one we've had, which is still pretty cool, though. This is the Spawn of Caius. Again, this like zombie or something just crawling riddled with these green disgusting worms or slime absolutely grotesque and then oh my gosh we've actually had this guy before too this is three that we've already had a drowned assassin now this is again one that i am going to want multiples of why because we happen to have some water, a lot of water in the cavern. So, yes, we're going to want some of these kind of aquatic zombies. Fantastic, folks. There is booster pack number one. That's right, we have. We still have so many more to go. Seven more. Here we go. Booster pack number two. Zooming out. God, why does... I don't know. I had the camera so nice for the first one. All right, anyway. Folks. Oh, God. And then I'm dumping it over. Let's try this again. Booster pack number two. What the heck? Uh-oh. We have a damaged fig. We have, and this is one that I have actually been really excited for, too. It is the hill giant skeleton right there severed spine oh my gosh well we're gonna have to put some glue on that maybe pin it too because if that's the only part of it that uh is attached because that's kind of a chunky top but look how cool when it is repaired look how cool it is a hill giant skeleton 
Yeah, this is absolutely one that I was excited for because, I mean, it's just a gigantic skeleton with a huge club, which is perfect. In fact, I hope we get maybe another one of those. And then we have a ghoul. This is our second ghoul. Again, as, as I said in that first video, I do want multiples of the ghoul as well, holding that severed limb. Just good generic undead creatures that's what i want here is our second specter which is again very cool you see that creepy face creepy torso coming out of this whatever it is arcane mist and lastly this is also our second phantom warrior so i've kind of jinx jinxed ourselves <laughs> because now these so far, all six of the smaller figures we have duplicate. And now we have two larger figures we haven't had yet. The little giant has seen better days. That's no problem. Little super glue, little uh, gorilla glue gel is really nice uh, for something like that. All right, here we go. Booster pack number three, zooming out. On. I want something mind blowing. Oh my gosh! Well, it isn't mind blowing. We actually have had one of these before as well. Now, I do see some smaller figures in there though that we don't have yet, but this is another Elder Black Pudding. Look at this thing. It is gigantic. And again, I like this because of the fact that you can stick figures inside of it there as if it is about to you know, envelope them in pudding. <laughs> That's always been a fantasy of mine. All right, moving on to this figure, which is freaking amazing and not one that we've had yet. This is a Death Knight. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cool. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love this guy already. This is my player character, folks. I think this is it. This is who I'm going through the cavern with. And we will keep him safe in the pudding. All right, next up. Oh, we do. We've had one of these before. This is the Deathlock. An undead warlock, I assume. Ooh. And actually, I like it because it's like it. You know, use him as an undead, again, warlock, wizard, sorcerer, magic user in general. I don't, I don't know. Can you see how the light is like creating this? Ugh. It's bothering me. Oh, wait. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That creates a rippled light. But if we go to the highest one, it doesn't. And also, I can hear, like, electronic feedback right now. But when we go to the highest one, it stops, and the light is perfect. Okay, so that's what we'll do. We'll leave it on the highest setting. All right, anyways. Come on, Rick. Get it together. Okay. Oh, love this. This is a vampire spawn. Oh my goodness, we are going to want multiples of these because you can't get more generic than this. And when I want hordes of generic minions to battle the player characters, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, that guy is perfect. All right. I think our fortune is turning around and we are now moving on to pack number... Four. Four of eight. And what do we have this time? Oh, goody, we have something we haven't had yet. And honestly, I would not mind multiples of these, because look at this. All right, zoom back in. We have... I don't even want to try to pronounce that. Odiug? Oh, my gosh, look at those teeth. Ah, you know you want to stick your finger in there. And then look at these like tentacles with mouths on the end. Oh my gosh, that's hideous. 
Yep, absolutely love that. Would not mind having multiples of these either. Three legs on that guy. Isn't that bizarre? All right, next up we have something else we haven't had before. Oh my gosh, yes, this is one of my grails. One of the ones I absolutely had to have. This is the Avatar of Death. Simply put, death itself. With that translucent blue scythe, outstretched hand, oh my gosh, flying through the air. That is absolutely fantastic. I wonder if the light is making this hard to focus, because it seems like we were focusing really good before we turned the light on. I don't know, is that better or worse? I just love the fact that we have death. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Let me turn it back on. I'm sorry. I'm so indecisive. And then this is our first three of a kind. We now have a third Dread Warrior. Well, if you were going to have a bunch of someone, a Dread Warrior may as well be the one. And last but not least, oh, thank Christ, we have another Skeletal Archer. It's just called a Skeleton, but it it's one of at least two if not three, different variations of the skeleton in the set, which makes sense being the Boneyard set. But these skeletal archers, yes, give them all to me. I need a horde of skeletal archers. Thank goodness that is another of our duplicates. All right, folks, we are halfway through brick number two. It's been a mixed bag. We've had a damaged hill giant. We've had several duplicates, but obviously the duplicates are going to keep rolling the further and further along we get in this. All right, here we go. Pack number five. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's a lot going on here and I am loving it. Here we go. First of all, another ogre zombie, which is another. This is another one of the big guys that I did want multiples of because that is generic enough. Get a couple of those that coming at you. Here is another death slot. This is our second death slot and another one of those generic kind of spooky monsters that I absolutely wanted multiples of. And what else? Ooh, this is a new one. We haven't seen this one before. Oh my gosh. A mummy lord. I vaguely even remember seeing this one because we have a mummy, but now we have the pharaoh, the mummy lord with that translucent green. Oh my gosh, this guy is very cool. Love that. That's a new figure for us. And then last but not least is another. This is now our second three of a kind. Another Will-O-Wisp. Very interesting. I know nothing about Will-O-Wisps. Except for the fact that they look like little bundles of fireflies. All right, next up, we are moving on to, oh my gosh, this is heavy. Holy cow. That's not as heavy. That's kind of heavy. Actually, which one's heavier? This may be the heaviest one so far. I don't know what this could be unless it's another one of those crazy things we got in the first pack. Oh no! Oh no! This is the most disgusting thing I have ever seen in my entire life. Exaggeration and hyperbole turn to 10 because this thing is so cool. Oh my gosh, I hoped and prayed because obviously getting a full case of these you're you're honestly kind of guaranteed to at least get one of everything but you know you never know but this thing is so freaking gross i could not wait to get it this makes the brick for me the Cibriex. this is absolutely disgusting look at the bile the blood the infection. This is infection personified. Look at the 
little mouths all over it, just drooling this infected ooze. There's mouths all over this thing. There's a pair of eyes. I mean, you almost don't even want to touch this thing. It's so freaking disgusting. It's all chained up. I mean, this is just vile. Oh my gosh. And I cannot love it any more than I do. This is the coolest thing. Oh my gosh. Which do I love more? This or the other crazy thing we got in brick number one? I don't know. I love this thing. I just love all the blood. Oh my gosh. Anyway, by the way, there were three other figures in this booster pack. And we have a second wraith. Yep, and the Wraith is a very cool figure, too. And that's another one you can have multiples of. Next up, we have our third and our second in this brick. Uh, I keep wanting to call him a deep spawn, but it's not. It's a drowned assassin. Whoops. And that's cool. You know what? I am very, very cool having multiples of these. Because there's not a whole lot of aquatic figures in this set. And we have a lot of water that we need to inhabit. And then here we go with another one of these. Here's another skeleton, but it's that halfling or dwarf size skeleton. Still cool little hand axe. So that's very nice. All right. I still can't believe that Sibriox. So far in each brick there has been one figure that absolutely blows me away i don't want to spoil it go check out brick number one to see what that was i don't think in these last two boxes anything's gonna top this sibriex i really don't think so all right what else on the side of this have we not seen yet we've got the avatar the mind witness the skeleton we do not have a bone naga yet we do have a couple of that guy uh, no comment on some of these because I don't want to spoil it, even though I probably just did. <laughs> oh, God. We're having a blast here, folks. I mean, when you're opening booster packs. <gasps> oh, my gosh. This is why this one was so heavy. Oh, my gosh. This guy. Now, don't get me wrong. This guy is freaking amazing. I don't, it still does not top the Sibriex, at least in my opinion, but it is very cool. Who is this? This is a skittering horror. Imagine you get up to go to the bathroom, you know, 1, 2 a.m., crawl, step out of bed. From under the bed scuttles one of these. Oh my gosh, that would absolutely terrify me. That is so cool. Okay, anyways, here we go. We still have a few more figures to take a peek at from this booster, including another zombie. Now, this is the third overall zombie we've had, second of this variation. There's two variations of the zombie, and this is uh, the second of this particular style of zombie. Oh my gosh! And then here is the second of the other style. This is also the zombie. This style of zombie is number one. This style of zombie is number 14. And then so here's the, the first style with that big axe in hand. Love it. Yep, these are exactly the kind of things that I absolutely do want multiples of, obviously, to populate an undead cavern. And then last but not least, we have another, a second ghast. Oh, that's right. And that's kind of funny because we got a ghoul and a ghast in the first brick, and then here is a ghoul and a ghast in the second brick. And as I said in the first brick, these are again kind of the kind of figures I do absolutely want multiples of. And then folks, here we go. This is it. I'm not, I'm going to go over my 20 minute mark. Maybe by the third brick, we'll get it down to 20 minutes. But here we go, folks. The last booster in brick number two of Boneyard. I don't know. I don't know how we can possibly top what we've already seen. And I don't think we are because we do have another... Warhorse, this is our second Warhorse. We saw one in brick number one. Very cool figure, though. 
Skeletal Warhorse. And then, oh, this is the second one of these we've had now. A Crawling Claw. A dismembered hand crawling around there. And then, oh, now this is a figure we haven't seen before. Is this? Yeah, let's take a look at this one. And then we're going to take a look at a new one. This is a Vampire Spawn. So again, and I think, did we get the first Vampire Spawn? No, I, yeah, we did. We actually got two of these in this same brick. And again, like I said, when we pulled the first one, come on and focus. That's not what I said. Actually, I may have. But anyway, uh, yeah, definitely multiples of these will be fantastic. Absolutely love them. And then last but definitely not least, because this is a brand new figure we do not yet have. This is the Vampire Spellcaster. So we have a couple of Vampire Spawn. And now we have this. Take a look at this floating, gorgeous vampire spellcaster. It's like a tiefling spellcaster vampire. Oh my gosh, how freaking sweet. I love the effect of like this black mist behind them. Because you know, you they absolutely could have just done the figure itself, but I love that they put this in the back. All right, folks, that is it. The Sibriex is the most hyped figure from what we pulled in brick number two. I mean, just look at this. Look at all this undead. I've got to repair this guy, though, because, I mean, I absolutely love him. I'm going to absolutely need him. So we got to get the hill giant skeleton repaired, but otherwise, the rest of this is freaking awesome. All right, folks, we still have two bricks left. Stay tuned. We're going to be unboxing the next one shortly. Thank you all so much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And until next time.